was delicious. Hello guys, it is the Opus Sima here. I hope you are having a good day today. And today guys, we are building La Casa Blanca, um, my second ever rebuild to this channel. So you may have noticed that, I uh, hope you like, actually like last week's rebuild guys. Um, but yeah, this is a different uh, build this time with La Casa Blanca. Um, it's basically a Spanish slash French home. It's a villa, okay? I can tell you that for first. Uh, for sure. It's based kind of on Spanish and French architecture. Not so much French architecture, but it is there, uh, which you will see during the build. Like that balcony there, that's kind of French uh, architecture. Um, I would say this is, has more connections to French architecture than Spanish, though. I think the only major difference is that it did have more massive balcony compared to the French bill, as you see. Yeah, you know, well, they have like separate balconies, but yeah, this is La Casa Blanca. It was a bit of a different build, guys. Um, I'm just here laying over the arches now. I don't put them fully down permanently. I just want to see where they should go. And I did change out the layout a little bit, which you're going to see now in a minute. But uh, yeah, uh, you can see we have started building the inside. Uh, with here is going to be the bathroom, which I've just built, which you're going to see much later on. Um, it is actually quite a nice house, La Casa Blanca. I think in my opinion, I hope you really enjoy this build. Um, but uh, yeah, um, so it is a nice house to be fair. Um, expansion wise guys, the requirements for this house, you will need most, basically nearly all of them except university and uh, supernatural. You will not need those two expansion stuff packs. You are gonna need town life stuff. I was in a town life, you're gonna need outdoor living and you will need a couple of items from the store and as well guys i have um placed a custom car with this a lot by fresh prince creations um uh, again all those will be mentioned in the readme file which will be coming with the download if you decide to download this house which the link will be the first link in the description and uh, which you're going to see later on when this comes together so here i have kind of gone for a trait of spanish houses which you're going to see a very common trait actually I have lightened up the wallpaper. This is quite a common color for houses in this area of the world. Um, by the way, I have never gone to France. This is a, actually, technically I have, which I'll talk about maybe now in a minute. Um, but really I haven't explored France at all. And I'm actually learning French in school. So it's a bit of a weird a scenario, but yeah. Um, uh, you can hear, uh, you can see I was about to put a roof here, but then I turn it into a balcony later on. I noticed I did something wrong. It just didn't look right. It did look okay, but it just didn't look right. And in the end, I just turned it into a balcony, uh, which you're going to see now in a minute. Um, but uh, yes, uh, here we are, I believe. Yes, we're putting down the arches finally. Um, it took me, I think, about four hours to build this house, which isn't actually that bad. Um, it is that isn't actually that bad for a build like this uh for la casa blanca um so it took me a bit but um we got it over and done with and it ended up being pretty nice here you go i just have to save my game here you can see um that was because it's a saver mod but anyway we are here we are putting down the arches i was trying to find the arches here and i was just blind just plain spot of blind there and uh in the end i found them but uh, yeah, I didn't know what to go for. Did I should go for that or go for this? And in the end, I went for that joint arch look. It just looked much nicer. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, we are now going to go ahead and put some tarmac down. Uh, I've gone for the tiles you will usually see in these houses in Spain or France. And you will notice I do a similar pattern in the inside. Excuse me. Uh, but yeah, they do a really, really similar pattern in the inside of these houses. So, uh, yeah, I've stuck to that, you can see. Um, very nice, by the way, so you can see. Um, but uh, yeah, it's ended up pretty nice. And um, you can see it is going to be a pretty nice house, to be fair. Once it's finished, you would have seen by the thumbnail, it, it's, a, it's a really nice house. Uh, but here we go, we are on to doing some stuff here. We are putting down the wall now. I only put down one because I've noticed with these things that you kind of have to put down one before laying it down. And I used create a style, by the way, a lot in this house, you will notice. Um, there's going to be a recurring theme of create a style, but it just ended up being really nice. 
and that's what I like about these houses and that's why I like about creative style in The Sims 3 but what you will notice about this build is that I had to go out of the house a couple of times uh, during this uh, build so the reason being was just lagging guys it was just plain slight lagging which is just so annoying in my opinion but in the end it ended up being pretty nice to be fair I've been able to finish off this build um, it took me two sessions here and now I'm actually here you can see I am choosing what uh, terrain I should go for in the end I've gone for similar terrain to this it's from World Adventures so you will need World Adventures for this terrain um, but uh, yeah I've gone for this terrain right here it actually looked nice in the end so uh, yeah it was worthwhile taking the risk so uh, yeah we're nearly seven minutes guys like six minutes into this build already which is just crazy the first 10 minutes is just laying out the foundations. The only annoying thing I've noticed about Sony Vegas is that you can always speed it up to a certain speed and it, it that's a little annoying. I'd prefer like there was another way to do it but uh, yeah that's the only annoying thing about Sony Vegas I find in my opinion. Here we are we are going into the interior a little bit we are putting down you can see the uh, signature um, you've noticed I've done this with the last size as well pretty similar to start our home if you haven't seen it yet and there will be a card right up there but uh, yeah I've done the signature style and it just works pretty well guys this signature style I like doing um, and here we could go on for that style of tile uh, which you're gonna see just right now <sighs> yeah you can see just right now guys and uh, it, it's looking pretty nice to be fair it's coming together I am um, you can see I've gone for the signature tile and it just looks much nicer so we went with that tile there and it actually ended up being a masterpiece now I do a different uh, design for the bathroom which you're going to see right now actually um, I do this custom design for the bathroom and it actually ends up pretty nice as well uh, pretty neat so uh, yeah um, in total this house is only worth just over 100 grand with the car it would only be worth about 85 grand without the car but with the car it's worth 80 grand so it isn't that bad guys you can afford it right away if you're becoming a millionaire or anything this is a nice house uh, for a family that is worth a bit of money so uh, yeah now I'm choosing the tiles that I should go in here and then I choose this tile right here which I kind of liked so I said listen why not use that tile um I have just changed the design a little bit you can see and it actually ended up being quite nice so um the finishing product, product of that room now we're on to the garage door um now I've noticed a little issue with the garage what I was originally planning to do is you're going to see a little later I would plan to put the door at the inside of the house and then you just go into the garage but I noticed a massive issue with that so in the end what I've done is I've put the door entrance to the garage uh, like you see that white area there um, that's where I put it, which I built in the first place it was just gonna be there for design but in the end it was needed which was nice and cool now I had to use the move object cheat here because the garage wasn't big enough so uh, I just put the um, thing there and again I just turned off the move objects off so you can see um, but uh, yeah we are going to move on uh, here to I believe we're nearly yeah we're nearly finished the first 10 minutes of the build already guys it's just crazy um, I just put some uh, plants here I just moved out again just to place that final plant um, you will may notice guys with this house there could be some writing issues with the arches and the doors if that's the case and um, it just shouldn't be much of a problem now I ran into another problem right here guys um I put a pool down now you will see it. I successfully was able to put it down in the end but uh, you're gonna see right now guys and uh, with the pool um how would I explain this <sighs> how would I explain this what I did is I put down the pool okay and uh, I was trying to put down the pool and they wouldn't allow me and in the end I found out the issue was so it was tiles so I actually had to delete them and then re-put them in once the pool was built which you're going to see now in a minute me figuring out um, as well I was trying to figure out how you did the uh, thing how you have the floor which I couldn't remember guys love of god so I'll try and flatten the terrain here to see if that helps um, 
trying to figure out this issue. Still, I was having the completely same issue. So, in the end, I found a solution. Don't worry, guys. Hannah always has some solutions. And the solution just worked just well. So, but yeah, you have your usual pool. Um, it's your kind of usual size pool you would see at these villas. Um, and I actually would say this is one of my favorite houses building because it only took me four hours personally and it was something that i enjoyed building i love these type of houses but by far it's one of my favorite types of houses these and modern houses are just my favorite i do not like the gothic style at all i'm not a fan of that i'm a fan of these villa type of houses and i'm a fan as well uh, of um what i was about to say these um, modern and ultra modern homes they're the three types of homes i really liked i originally planned to build an ultra modern home but i said listen let's do a villa type of, uh, of home instead and it actually ended up being really good and uh, you can see here we are doing the uh, pool and it is looking pretty pretty nice uh, you can see um which is nice you can see it's like a beautiful house um, while that is recording guys, while I'm talking about the pool, I'm going to just check my web browser and see is there anything going on over in the Eurovision net news. Um, I don't think there's much going on to be fair. The last couple of days was just pre-parties the end. I actually didn't see Madrid being talked about at all actually. It's a bit weird because all the other ones were talked about but Madrid, I don't know what happened to Madrid. Okay, it did go ahead and all that, but it was never talked about. It's just all the way gone. Uh, it was on yesterday, and at the time of recording. Oh, yay! Yes, Indigo Traveler is back. Yes, guys, I actually watched this guy called Indigo Traveler. I recommend checking him out. By the way, I just recommend checking him out. Um, but he's a nice traveler youtuber and i've watched his last couple of videos and it's just amazing guys um but i'm just gonna check my usual eurovision news and let's see what's going on over here um while well, this is building i'm into the interior though you can see um while we're loading up hell yes guys i saw that alexander reef <laughs> yes guys alexander reback decided to place some songs on the fiddle it's a bit weird as a mirror in 2018 songs i don't know why but the last couple of days we vlog seem to be covering this act okay they're representing france okay and i think the out of the last 15 stories three or four of them have been targeted to them i don't know why it there seems to be okay there was one on netta but the rest of the covers the last couple of days have been centered around these guys and they're called Madame Monsieur, and how, I don't know why, but you can see here, I'm actually trying to figure out the uh, door, and uh, the pattern, it took me a bit to figure out, but I think I got it, uh, you can see, uh, yes, I think I did get it, but yeah, it took me forever just to figure that out, and well, in the end, I did figure it out, but yeah, it's just the coverage on them has been wild the last couple of days. That story there was about the betting odds. The other one was like bet they won some um, preview party show, uh, which is just crazy. This will be up, by the way, just like uh, two weeks away from Eurovision, which I'm highly looking forward to. I want Madame Monsieur to win, actually. So, yeah, I don't think it will happen, but don't, I wouldn't keep my hopes high. They don't. I would see Israel more than likely win, which is just won the latest version of the OGAE pool. Um, France is just way behind there in second. Those two entries, I think, are most probable to win. Um, and I actually, this is a fascinating story, okay? I read this, like, the other day, if I'm correct. I read this the other day, okay? And uh, this story, okay, um, how would I explain it? Um, so this site called ESC Daily, they're not maybe they're not the biggest ESC site, uh, they're one of the smaller ones, but one of the journalists is pretty well known, and um, how do I explain this? And he did an article, he did some studying about ballots at Eurovision, and he concluded that if there isn't more than eight ballots in the final, so there has to be more than eight ballots in the final, 
Netta will win, which is just a bit crazy. And this is just due to knowledge and due to how the human mind works. And he said it's actually been like this since 2009. So you may have not even noticed, but if there was less than eight ballots in the final, um, basically ballots were kind of winning it. Uh, if there were more than eight ballots in the final, uh, ballots were not winning it. J sorry, uh, there were more of Temple songs winning it. So it is quite interesting. And it's more probable now that they will may win the title or uh, Netta. I really do, however, want to see Madame Monsieur win. Uh, just the reaction, guys. They, they should win. I'm not going to play this song for you. I'll link it in the description if you want to go check it out. Uh, but it, it's like, it's so cool. And they're like French as well. Like, they like their French ethnicity. And I think as well, the other day, they just found the girl that the song is based on. Yeah, they did. Um, because it was based on a girl born at sea, like last year. And then right away when they uh, saw the story in the online, okay, you have to see that. I actually have to go back in the house. But, um, like they, like 15 minutes after the story broke or something, or after 15 minutes they read it, they just said, listen, let's write a song about her. And it ended up going to Eurovision. I don't know how well it'll do though. I'm hoping it wins So, Um... Some people are not, they are a bit afraid, it may not do well. But it was kind of the same as well for Salvador Sobral last year. So I'd say it's going to have a really similar reaction because it is a continuing problem in Europe currently. So I could see it winning at this time. And that's why the bets are rising for them. Again, they're not half favoured. They're, I think, about sixth or fourth half favoured. They're, they're in between the two, okay? That's what I do know. And uh, yeah. Um, they also came, I think, third in the INFV poll, which is another organization for Eurovision. Yeah, they did. They just, uh, Bulgaria just bet them out. Greece came fourth. Uh, yeah, that, that's not bad, actually. Israel won it that, by a big margin. Then Bulgaria and France just right behind. So, um, I think they're going to be Dan Tree and Alfred and Amaya, i say, are the four really running for it this year, so... Yeah, I know I'm talking a lot about Eurovision, but it is coming up, guys. By the way, are you going to watch Eurovision this year if you're in Europe? I plan on doing a tutorial, by the way, showing you how to watch Eurovision if you're outside Europe. It is actually quite simple, so... Uh, yeah, now you can see I was having some problems... Excuse me, with the staircase here. In the end, I was able to place it. I had to delete a couple of windows, which I did not want to do, but... Uh, yeah... Um, while I'm here, I'm actually just going to check my Facebook. Um, I'm sorry if uh, you're going to hear... Well, actually, you won't hear anyone. Uh -oh. Um, oh, yes. Man. Okay, I just saw a post there from a fan page, okay? And, um, yeah, I, I'm not going to show you the picture, but... Yeah, um, how would I explain it? So, you may know my favourite singer... If you don't know, it's actually a real scope. She's Maltese, by the way. I'm not Maltese at all. But thanks to Eurovision, I've heard of her music. Yes, Eurovision is coming up as a big topic. Um, but, yeah, I was just seen here on the fan page. And there's a picture of her son. He's about one and a half, okay? Um, yeah, he, he is about one and a half, okay? And he actually, I don't know why, but that he has a much nicer hair. Like... It's quite long, okay, to be fair for one and a half year old. And when I saw, like, pictures of him around, I think, about 16 months, you would not even think he's a one and a half year old. You would think he's a two or three year old from the pictures, but he's actually only one and a half, which is just crazy, guys. <laughs> it is crazy. I'm not going to link it to the post or anything because this is my private Facebook and all this sort of stuff. I don't know why I like posting these content, but uh, I do once in a while... Um, yeah, let's see. Oh, another Alan Walker video. Uh, what do you think of? Yeah, <laughs> I the Avicii. Oh, yes, guys. Avicii did die the other couple of days ago, guys. Um, here I think I was placing a car, but I didn't do it here, but I did it actually at the end of the build. Uh, it was a minor thing I did. Uh, you would have not seen it in the video, but um, it will come up uh, in the final screenshots. So, uh, yeah, we're actually just about 20 minutes in already, which is just crazy. 
I've been yibbering yabbering around random stuff the last couple of minutes. Um, but I'm going to talk about a story um, right now. And uh, you may have never heard of this story. And this is quite an interesting story, guys, okay? And uh, you remember earlier I said I wasn't, I never went to France, but I said I technically went to France. Let me talk about that now. So um, I was about five years of age, okay? I was five years of age. So just keep that in mind. I was only five years of age. And the story goes, um, we headed over to Australia. Now, this is maybe a little weird, but... Uh, yeah, we went to Australia. The reason being is my aunt, she had cancer. She unfortunately passed away from it. Um, but uh, we went over there, I think it was March that year. and She died in August. So, yeah, it was really sad the day. I, I can't even remember the day she died. But I remember I was in Australia. I think it was about five months. Yeah, it was about five months before she died. And I was only five years old. Remember that. And um, I have a bit of memories of that. I'm in Australia, I can remember a few things, but, um, we, on the way back, we went through Kuala Lumpur, because from Australia, Ireland, it takes like 23 hours, okay, uh, from the part of Australia I went to, to Ireland, it took me 23 hours in a plane, and then it took me a, a, a further couple of hours, uh, to drive there, and uh, on the way back uh, we need to stop somewhere and we stopped in Kuala Lumpur now this is gonna get a little weird um but uh, we stayed there for a couple of days because um why not and then we were supposed to fly back to Amsterdam then get a flight to Dublin so this was when we got to the airport the day we were supposed to fly back and uh, when we got back to the airport uh, there was problem major problems I can't remember the whole story because I was so young back then. But I can remember it took, we were waiting at the check-in at the desk for about an hour or two. And then they came back to us and said, oh, the flight is cancelled. So, um, we have to rebook our flight, basically. And there was no flight going back to Amsterdam, I'd say, for another day or two. And we wanted to really go back right away. Now, we really didn't have the money, uh, the Australian, more Malaysian currency, whatever it's called again. Let me look up the currency of uh, Malaysia, because this was back in uh, 2008. Now, I know credit, credit cards were quite prevalent, they were coming into its fashion. They were somewhat in fashion, debit cards and credit cards, but um, let me look up the currency of Malaysia. Oh, this should tell me, I think it's the Malaysian ringgit, 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 I think it's the ringgit. And correct. And I, whatever it is, um, that's their currency. And basically, I think we didn't have enough of it. Well, we had enough to go somewhere else, but I, I think there were, unless that flight was full, I don't know. But what happened was, in the end, we were booked onto a different flight. Uh, we were booked onto, I think, a China Southern flight to Beijing. And then we were told to get a flight to Paris, I think, if I was correct or to get a flight to Beijing, and then we should be able to get a flight to somewhere like Paris or somewhere like that, and then be able to fly at home. Now, I remember we actually had to wait, um, actually, did we, can I remember, let me remember, did we, I remember falling asleep on one of those flights. I think we actually had to go get, I think there was two flights, it was a stopover, I think, I can't even remember, and then I think we landed in I think it was Beijing or Shanghai. It was one of the two we went to. It wasn't Guangzhou or anything like that. I'm sure it was Beijing. Yeah, I am 100% sure. We landed in Beijing. And I think we were there for a whole day. Now, here's another story that I'm not going to fully talk about. But if you're a five-year-old five and uh, you're not expected to come to China, you're definitely not going to have any money. And that was the problem. We didn't have any Chinese currency. What is the Chinese currency, by the way? What is the Chinese currency? I am not too sure myself. Let me look that up, guys. Um, Chinese currency of China. All right. It is the the renminbi, renminbi, or whatever it is. I know we didn't have much of that, or we didn't have any of that. And here's the weird story. I stole someone's uh, wallet. Now, I know 
I was five years old, so I was somewhat innocent because I didn't know the difference between stealing or whatnot. But guess what? I got arrested technically for it. This is a bit of a funny story. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, luckily in the end, I was let go. I was able to run away. Don't, don't ask me. I was a smart genius. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird story, but we were able to get onto our flight to Paris. I believe we, I think we took an Air France flight, if I'm correct. An Air France, yeah. I'm sure it was an Air France flight, and we got us, I believe, to maybe Orly, if I'm correct. I don't know. I think it was Charles de Gaulle. And uh, whatever one they um, fly in all the international flights, I believe it's Charles de Gaulle. So we fl- flew, actually, it could be Orly. Whatever it was, it was one of the two airports, and we were there, I think, for, I think, for a couple of hours, and I remember getting McDonald's or something, and then we got, I think we were rushing to our flight back to Dublin, and I think that was an Air France flight. Luckily, we got home in the end, which was a good thing, um, but, uh, yeah, it was a bit of a weird story, um, but, uh, yeah, uh, you can see we're coming up near to the end of the build. I've and was yapping for the last couple of minutes. Yeah, we're on 26 minutes, so there's still a bit to go, but it's not much. It's just furnishing the upstairs. And um, what I'm just gonna do now, guys, is I am just gonna go ahead and let go of the uh, audio uh, track, of this audio track, and you're just gonna listen to the music for the rest of the build. I don't have like the privilege now to speak for the last about six minutes. My voice is kind of dry, so. Uh, and I don't have any water off with here, so uh, yeah, guys. I am gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna finish the audio recording here, and there'll just be some music for the rest of the build. I hope you really enjoyed this build, guys. If you haven't yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button, it would be amazing if you do, and that like button, it'll just be truly amazing. And guys, Opus Summer is out of the building. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video, and I will see you next time.
Okay guys, so I wasn't actually thinking of putting this last part in, but here are the screenshots of the house. You can see there's the custom car I put in. You would have not have seen it in the build, but it is there. Um, it is quite a nice build. There's the floor pan. Not too bad to be fair. A nice villa. There's the car. A nice Honda, if I believe. I can't remember the model, but it will be mentioned in the readme file that will come with the download. So uh, yeah, here's the front and uh, here's our the back pool you would have seen earlier very nice actually here is the living area i actually like that living area it just looks so nice there and the kitchen and some really nice elements for their spanish and uh, we have there the living room it actually is quite spanish you can see it actually looks much more spanish now than it did earlier but uh here is the bathroom again here's the other bathroom maybe not the best screenshot of it but it works and uh, here is the landing not too bad actually uh, I think it ended up being really nice and here's the master bedroom it doesn't have a bathroom connected to it but it is a bedroom and then here is another bedroom and the other room is empty guys I didn't say that actually but it is empty so you can actually design it all you want but guys I hope you really enjoyed the build La Casablanca it was a really really nice build to build it took me about four hours so go ahead and leave a like on this video for all the effort I've put into it. And guys, go ahead and comment uh, for more builds. And let me know what type of ideas you want to see for these builds. And subscribe to the channel, guys. And we'll be uploading these maybe every week to do. So keep, stay around, actually. So uh, I will see you in the next video. If you haven't yet, go ahead and do all those things. And uh, open summers out of the building. See you next.